uh, word on the street is Instagram got 60 second videos right now. So why not give y'all a 60 second raw, authentic, real live introduction to me and my new lion? I just bought this motherfucker, man. 37 million, that's what I paid for him. His name is Shabba Ranks. I named him that because he was because he was white on the outside without the dark bottom. D don't worry about me, just know that I'm over here doing big things in South Africa, man. Buying lions. Get my other, get my cub. I bought this whole this whole section right here. It set me back 37. Ah, don't hey, don't you jump up here like that again. Yo, this is unreal, man. Hey, if you do not know about South Africa, my suggestion to you is educate yourself. Amazing, man. Amazing people. Amazing cities. I am having a ball. Even the lions are cool. You cool, baby. What up? It's me and you, baby. You cool, baby. Yo, I feel this lion breath on my back. Shit ain't cool, man. That's you. It ain't cool. The last thing you feel. What are you doing? Are you punching somebody in the fucking face for that cough? Huh? These are real questions, man. I don't I don't even know I don't even know how to process this. I said the only way to do it is to go on and talk about it. And I was thinking about making this material to talk about, but by the time I'm able to get back on the stage, I mean this will all be over and gone with. So then it'll be dated. So I gotta just talk about it on live to get it out. I got a bunch of funny shit in my head, man. How long are we fist bumping? Is fist bumping, like, is it, is it forever now? Is fist bumping the new norm? Kissing on the cheek. Is kissing on the cheek, is that still a thing? How you doing? Is that still there? You say the kissing on the cheek is over, babe. Do you, do you give, do you give a man this face when he come in and kiss you? Hey, how you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you... <laughs> Are you giving the embarrassing? Oh, 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 oh. Are you giving the neck movement? Is it the, are you giving the, have you ever seen, do you guys know what the hidden neck move is? Ah, ah, ah. It's going to be awkward, but people will understand, I'm sure. You say people won't understand. I'm giving the hide my neck, wide eyed move. You come in and kiss me on my cheek. Oh, oh, look, babe, this is the. The hidden neck wide eye. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get your ass back. Get your ass back is what you got to say. Hidden neck wide eye. Fist bump. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Or do we go, yo, man, we, we, we're we past that. Come on, man. Man, shake my hand. I don't know if I can get past the handshakes, though, babe. Handshakes say a lot. Handshakes, handshakes say a lot. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to stop shaking hands. Handshakes say a lot about a man. I can't, I need to know who you are as a man. That handshake tells me a lot. Handshake, eye contact. I, I can't tell who you are from a fist bump. You could be a fucking nasty person. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose the normalcy that we once had. Uh, guys, every time I put this wine glass in here, please don't think I'm small. It's just a real big wine glass. I, I am small, but this is a really big wine glass. So don't think that I'm like, you know, I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little dude. I just want to know what we feel our new norm is and will be. Another thing. Okay, when we go to restaurants, if they do try to put the social distancing shit in the restaurant, I don't know if I'm cool with that. You might as well eat at home. You might as well eat at fucking home if that's the case. You go to restaurants to be in the ambiance. I don't want my ambiance spread out. But at the same time, fresh out of this, if I'm eating my food and behind me, <coughs> then we got to go. We got to go, man. Get a fucking doggy bag. Get the stuff. Let's go. Unless they, Unless there's like, you know. Unless there's some, I think everybody will be afraid. Everybody will be afraid to cough and sneeze. You, you would rather fart. You would rather fart out loud than cough or sneeze. And that's reality. That's the reality. These are all things, these are all things that we should think about. Son, I am on live, man. Hey, man. Hey. 
What? I know that's your truck. Son, I'm doing a very important live, Zoe. I don't have time to do that right now. Yeah, I'm on here talking to the people about life after the pandemic. Yeah. Yes, so you got to give me time. Okay, so back up, man. Let me do my live. Let me do my live. Here's a part that I don't understand, all right? I'm clearly doing the live. I'm drinking my big uh, bucket of wine, and my wife is on the other side of this couch watching my son come up and sing songs. I understand it's Mother's Day, but after a certain hour, it's over. It's 540. Honey, it's 540. I don't care. I need the whole day. And I have yet to get the whole day. Okay, hey man. Okay, all right, all right. All I'm asking is do my live. That's all I'm asking. I'm over here answering the questions that the people want answers to. This isn't a lie for me, it's a lie for the people. I'm trying to find out what life is after. Okay? Here's what else I realized. <laughs> I ain't had a stage in forever, so I got to get this off. Here's what else I realized. This pandemic made me realize how this is going to be fucking amazing. Uh, Dwayne, get out of my fucking comment section. Go do something, man. You know what? I got something for your ass. I got something for your ass. Do it again. Do it again and I'm going to click on you. And I click on you. And let the people see how you look during the daytime. News flash. Dwayne's forehead isn't real. It's, it's, it's a prosthetic. <laughs> Dwayne and Rock Johnson has a prosthetic forehead. It's not, it's not real. He can take it off. It's like Velcro. If you see what's up under there, you'll see what wrestling will do to you. It's not good for your forehead. <laughs> oh, God. All right. That was pretty funny to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, that made me laugh. I, I apologize. Back on point. Uh, New Year's. Going down. Uh, if you're out there, make sure you come fuck with us. It's going to be a movie. I can't wait for it. We're bringing it in with a big blast that's with you guys. Uh, and then after that, I roll right into January, man. Right into January. And I'm starting it off with the fucking biggest movie of what I feel like is my career. I feel like The Upside is the biggest movie of my career. Because this is going to put me in a different conversation. It's going to put me in a completely different realm. You guys are going to get to see that your boy has got real chops, man. And in this year, I'm going to use those chops and take myself into a, a, a different lane. Still going to do comedy. Can't turn my back on comedy. Got to do comedy. Got to do it at the highest level. Still going to drop another stand-up special. That's going to happen. Never turning away from that. But this is just giving you guys a different look. This is giving me another layer, man. Your boy got layers. Layers. I don't know. I don't know the titles of them or how to really define them, but I like the fact that I'm going in depth to talk about it. I'm just making you guys aware, putting you in the know. Okay, mark your calendars. January 11th is going down. Um, New Year's 2019, right here. Any and everything that happened in 2018 is behind you. Look up, keep your head high, move forward. It's about doing the do. Goddamn it! Don't talk to talk, walk to walk. Be that individual. Don't be the person that talks about what you're going to do. Be the person that does it. Make it happen. That's what I am. I make it happen. Matter of fact, new nickname alert. 2019, my name is Kevin, Mr. Make It Happen Heart. Mm-hmm. Kevin, Mr. Make It The Fuck Happen Heart. Shout out to you, Usher. I see you. There you go. Donovan Mitchell, I see you. Shout out to you as well. Uh, it's everybody else in here, man. I love y'all. Okay, if you don't know anything else, know that. Know that I love you, and I mean it. I feel like this live should end on a high note. I don't want to. Man, this social media shit is getting out of hand, dude. It is truly getting out of hand. <laughs> From showing support to a friend, you know, you get a you get a a fucking roar of frustration from so many calls, phone going off the fucking hook. I'm a friend. As a friend, if I have a friend in trouble ever, I'm going to do my best to try to be there for that friend. Then I hear people go, what about Nick? That's your fucking friend. Where were you for Nick?
because you didn't see it means that I wasn't there for Nick. Sad times we fucking live in, man. Nick was over my house every goddamn day when he went through his shit. I was the one who called the president of the goddamn studios and reached out to so many to try to see what we can do to solve the situation, find a solution. Nick and myself talked, we vetted out the situation as friends. Because I was there for my friends. It's like I'm gonna try my best to be there for all of them. When did we lose sight of reality? It's a fucked up time, man. It's a fucked up time that we live in. And people are forgetting how to be people. People are now programs. Fuck. When did we get here? Praying. Praying for a better place. Praying for a fucking better understanding, man. People go through shit. It happens. It's life. All I can say is that when they do, if you're on the side of that individual, your job is to try to be a support system. Holy shit. Uh, I got breaking news on this Friday, man. I just got a call from Chocolate Dropper and he told me that he's doing a mixtape for my movie, What Now? I, first of all, I was blown away. I said, where you been? He said he was on a community college tour circuit all over the world. He's just been knocking out a bunch of community colleges and he said he's ready to take back the throne. I said, my guy, I, I can't wait, man. Chocolate dropper, baby. What Now mixtape. Oh, shit. Oh, he was hype as shit on the phone. He told me to tell y'all, real rap raw, get rugged bars, nuggets on deck. Uh, not from me, from him. Bye. You know what it is? Holding down the block, cuz. You know what I'm saying? I think people don't realize about these thugs, man. You get thirsty out here in these streets. It's always good to get a, a, a lemonade or something, refresh your palate. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Last thing you want is to be in a gun war with, with, with that white shit in the corner of your mouth. You can't shoot a motherfucker with the white shit in the corner of your mouth. You got to always keep your corners your corners moist, cuz. Mm -hmm. Lemonade is what I recommend. Lemonade. Huh? Beyonce. Beyonce.